Hello, and welcome to another exciting session. I'm Johan Blumhart, sales engineer for the Northwest. I just got my hands on a Dimension command and control licenses, so today I'm going to be upgrading my Dimension um, 1 series into uh, Dimension 2 and convert everything over, um, and show you how to convert an M400 into uh, the uh, new Dimension 2.0. So the first step I'm going to do is go ahead and I have a, a feature key that I'm just going to go ahead and activate. I'm going to do that uh, right now, actually, here. And then I have this window pulled up. I'm going to go into watchcard.com forward slash activate. Um, and that's going to get me into this serial number or license key. I'm sure many of you are aware of this screen already. So from here, I'm just going to throw in my uh, serial, um, my serial address or serial number. My apologies. I'm going to go ahead and choose which box I want to um, go ahead and upgrade. I've got a few options. Now, as we look at uh, Dementia Command that's uh, coming out, the Dementia Command is set up in um, really three different um, ranges. We have the tabletop appliance range. We also have, uh, from there, the tabletop covers the XTM2 series, the 25, 26, 33, T10, XTMV small offices. We also have the medium range or mid range, which is going to be the 330, the 5 series, the Firebox M series. So just out with the 400, we have the 200s, 300s, 400s, 500s. And then we have the high end um, series as well for that. And that's going to be the 8 series, 1050, 1520, 1525, 2050 and the 2520 as well as the XTM V large office and data center. So I'm going to go ahead, um, this key actually gives me the mid-range appliance. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my M400. Choose next on this. Um, and while that's activating, it says uh, before activation, no service of this uh, type has been activated. After act activation, we're going to see dimension uh, command and control components, and that's going to expire. Perfectly effective immediately. Can't wait. I've been uh, waiting quite a while for this. Um, on pins and needles, uh, just really exciting stuff here. I'm going to um, accept the EULA. Click on Next. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to grab that feature key from there. Many of you are uh, familiar with that process of uh, grabbing that feature key. So I'm just going to copy that go into my firewall here and go ahead and apply that new feature key um, which will verify that it has the new uh, dimension control capabilities built into that feature key. I'm going to go under uh, system feature key. We can see here already uh, we have the new refresh. I'm going to go ahead and look, um, just do a search here. Uh, let's see, control. We don't have control currently in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in update feature key. Now I could go ahead and um, grab the feature key through live security, but since it's already in my uh, uh, clipboard, it's now in there. And we see right off the bat, dimension command expires in 365 days. Um, great job. Uh, it looks like everything else is running like it should. So the next step from here is I'm just going to go uh, into the software, watchguard.com uh, forward slash um, hit return, and that's, I'm going to grab my uh, Dimension 2.0 um, install from there. Now in the case, I am currently running, uh, let's just make sure, let's see what I'm currently running here, 1.3 update 2. So from here, I'm going to look at uh, the release notes. Always make sure you read the release notes, guys. Uh, always quite a bit of important information right in here. Uh, introducing new dimension command, direct access uh, with the web UI, no separate login uh, required. So again, these are the next generation tools coming out from WatchGuard for centralized uh, management. And then we see visibility enhancements in uh, dimension 2.0. We can read all that. Um, I have read all of that already, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at the upgrade instructions. Now, for those of you that are familiar with my environment, 
this instance is actually running in a Hyper-V. Again, uh, a free virtual environment for this appliance um, that's running right here. You can see the CPU usage, et cetera. So I'm just going to go ahead and log into that um, right here. We see all of my firewalls in there. And now I'm going to perform the upgrade uh, to get me to the latest uh, dimension, uh, too. So I can go ahead and click on Hyper-V, click on the upgrade file. Now, if this was a new deployment, obviously I would need the uh, new file either for Hyper-V or VMware. And it's going to go ahead and download. Now, I previously downloaded that, so let's just go ahead and um, get started here. Let's see. I want to go ahead and upgrade dimension. And obviously, um, you want to make sure to have a backup of your uh, system as well. Let's just go ahead and grab this. Just grabbing this file here. For some reason, my Windows uh, system is not showing me uh, my downloads. So if I go into downloads, I have uh, quite a few files there. Maybe I have too many. I'm just going to go ahead and um, choose open. Um, choose that file. Click OK. And now it's upgrading that um, while I'm waiting. Now, the other step from there is that I'm actually going to um, connect my uh, firewall. I'm going to uh, go to, or my apologies, I'm going to go to dimension and specify that I want to connect M400. And then just like a CSR request where I, I make the request, download it, and, and bring it into, for instance, a CA, I'm going to do a process similar to that um, as well. And while this is um, waiting here, I did want to let you know uh, that you can actually get a uh, dimension uh, command eval simply by going into your products. So while that's going, let me just show you that real quick here. So we just log into our uh, customer portal. Go ahead and log in now. And once I look at those products, I go into Manage Products. So for myself, let's say I have an um, M200 that hasn't been licensed yet with uh, Dimension uh, Command. I can go ahead and um, just request a free trial of that uh, right through here. Or you can contact your um, local sales team if you actually, um, when you're ready to buy, and we can give you a key for that um, after that purchase. So again, just. Um, a great way, as we talk about application control or um, gateway antivirus, all of those uh, services can just be, um, you can sign up for free trials right from there. Now, exciting. It looks like it's uh, completed the up, update process. Um, we see here uh, version 2.0 for Dimension. I'm going to go ahead and I see my um, Portland M400 uh, firewall on there. Now, I can see that it's a logging that um, on there, which is great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, the interesting thing is as well, if I want to remove a firewall, I can simply click on, um, click on the row, click on remove, and that's going to remove that uh, firewall for me. Now, going back to my uh, 400, here we see Portland M400. I do have logging enabled, but I don't have that manageability through dimension uh, control right now. And to get that, um, as I mentioned, uh, to get that dimension command uh, control, all I need to do is um, go ahead and select on edit. And I want to choose this uh, config download from here. So I'm just going to go ahead. It's going to regenerate a device credentials. The file will contain both management and logging settings for your device. I'm going to go ahead and um, choose that, and that's a 
WGD file. Um, so that just downloaded. I'm going to grab that file just uh, similar fashion as before because I have an issue um, with my downloads file. Excuse me. I'm just going to copy and paste that. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually input latitude, longitude there uh, so that when I'm looking at a graphical uh, map of the world, I can see that uh, firewall in its place. Otherwise, it's going to try to do a geo lookup based on the IP address. So now I'm going to go back to my firewall um, from here, and I'm going to go into uh, manage device, so system, manage device. And right now, it's going with my management server. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's switch it over to Dimension Command. Now, it wants that WGD file, and let me just show you what that looks like. It um, goes ahead and uh, just downloads in your downloads uh, folder, WGD for WatchGuard. We're going to just choose that um, file, click on Open, and go ahead and import that. It's saying it's currently managed by a WSM management server. Do you want to continue and switch um, the management of that? I do in this case. I'm going to go ahead and select, select OK. We see here automatically dimension command address is populated. Now, if I look back at my uh, dimension, uh, again, we're looking at the dimension command right from here, looking at my devices. And let's just click on a refresh. Now we see it switch from logging into management mode. Now, the great thing is, as we talk about um, the health of your firewalls, let's say you had um, multiple firewalls. Um, I have, I've worked with some of you that have 120, you know, thousands of firewalls. You can easily see the health, uh, CPU usage, uptime, feature key. Again, these are just features that um, I've heard people asking for. And now we get to announce that they're readily available. And as I mentioned with that map, um, this did try to do a geo. And based on my um, IP address, it is assuming I'm in Australia um, from there. But as we look at um, some of the other things, we're going to go into in-depth um, with uh, Firebytes sessions. So make sure you get signed up for those. But again, this is just how to convert your environment into uh, dimension command to get those control components over your firewalls. And then once we click in here, we see a health snapshot. We look at our dashboards uh, right off the bat. I don't want to give you too much um, uh, of, um, insight into it. I want to uh, definitely cover these through some of the Firebyte sessions as well. But I can go directly into my web UI, be able to block those IPs right from the dashboard. So extremely exciting stuff. Um, keep in touch and keep looking out for new videos that we're going to release um, and that definitely covered uh, through uh, Firebyte sessions. So thank you very much.